Hello everybody, this is Yoko Cinema Reactions, and... <sighs> Sorry, I am never gonna get to sleep in again, at this rate. My nephew wanted the tablet, my mom told me not to give it to him. They aren't getting the tablet today. He tried to pull a fuss, tried to make a fuss, and tried to get me to give it to him anyway. Didn't happen. And, holy cow, this is just nuts. I don't know where all these views are coming from, but I uploaded a short yesterday. Day 13 of renovations. I'm looking at the view count right now. Between when I got up this morning, it was like, uh, shoot, how much? around 6.15 this morning. The video had like 10 views last night. This morning when I got up it had 45. I was like, okay. And I got up about 6.30 because I had to go check on Jackson because he, I wanted to make sure he wasn't doing anything he wasn't supposed to. It had 45 views. Or it had 45 views when I woke up at first. And then when I got up later, it said, four, it said 81. I was like, okay, so it's doing this now. So I stayed up, and I've been keeping track of it. It went from having 81 views to having 1,560. Why can't any of my other videos get that kind of traction? Hmm? Anyway. Uh, what? Yeah, Jackson wants a tablet. But yeah, this video's gotten almost 1,600 views. Which is insane. And it still continues to go up. <sighs> I'm so dang tired. Uh, freaking kids waking me up. Anyway, um... Yeah, this is gonna be my review for Goblin Slayer, episodes 10 and 10 and a half. Obviously, Ten and a Half is a recap episode of some of the stuff that happened in the past ten episodes. So, I'm not really going to go over that one. Episode Ten, on the other hand... Um... I don't really know how to describe it. But we get to see Goblin Slayer without most of his armor on. And his helmet, apparently, but we never get to see his full face. Oh my god, I just want to sleep. I just want to sleep so much. I mean, I got six hours of sleep. I don't know why I'm always tired. Anyway, um... Uh, we get to, like I said, we get to see him without his armor on. Even the helmet. But... We don't get to see his face. At all. Like, why? The most we see is like from here, down. Essentially. His hair, and that down. No eyes. Like, what the heck? I wanna see his, I wanna see his full face. Just once. Anyway, uh, he heads to the guild hall. Nobody obviously recognizes him because nobody's seen him without the armor on. Nobody, except for, well, cowgirl. And he ends up reflecting a bit on his future, and uh, he ends up meeting up with the others after he gets his armor, and they go out to get some food and invite the guild girl and cowgirl as well. And they do make a mention like, well, sometimes adventurers get gravely injured or get uh, sick or whatever, and they can't adventure anymore. And that makes me wonder, what would he do... If he couldn't kill goblins anymore, either due to the fact that they killed them all, you know, wipe out the population, or he gets injured one day badly enough that he can't fight goblins anymore, no matter if he, how much he wants to. What would he do? Now, his most likely, his most obvious uh, solution to this is train future adventurers on how to kill goblins if he can't fight them. 
because that would prepare future generations if he couldn't fight goblins and he wants to make sure that everybody else can that way even if he can't then you know they'll still be taken care of now if he can't fight goblins because there's no more goblins then I don't know what he would do I don't know to be completely honest but one thought did kind of cross my mind that if he couldn't kill them anymore, that was it. That was the end of his life because that was all he was obsessed with was killing off goblins. I don't know. Give me your thoughts on that, you guys, because I don't really know what he would do, to be completely honest. You guys probably know more about the character than I do. Give me your thoughts. Anyway, um... The next day, he goes to check the area like he always does, and this time, something is different. Something is very wrong. He goes to check that open area, and there's tons of footprints. Goblin footprints. And then, you know, the recap episode happens. So, yeah. That's not good. What's gonna happen now? Anyway... Oh, oh, God. Anyway, if I missed anything important, please let me know. And, you know, like I said, give me your thoughts on the, co on the comment section on what you think of this so far. What you think he would do in the future if there were no more goblins to slay. Either by killing them all or being getting injured to where he can't. Let me know. And I will see you all next time.